Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 9 of A Cut to Planet. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Finally, after 9 weeks, <laughs> 9 weeks, she is finally an idol. Like, oh my god. Ugh. Because to me, it felt like 10 weeks. How I just want to know, like, what her dressias are going to be and everything. and Because uh, I've seen how she looks from a couple of screenshots from Twitter and then what my friend has sent me. But not her dressias. So would it be fine? Also, can we talk about the fact that she has, like, really good style? Like, oh my god, I love that top. And them shoes... And her earrings. Her earrings are so pretty. Like, oh my god, you know, this is why I want to go to Japan and shop at stores and this. Because, like... I mean, the fashion here in America is good, but the fashion in Japan is, like, phenomenal. Like, oh my god. Because, mm. Because, see, that would be interesting. Because I would have to con convert my size to their stuff. Because I haven't bought any Japanese clothes. I've bought merch, but, um... <laughs> not any like cute shirts or pants or anything because like you never really know because like typically a lot of people will say if you are ordering anything from Japan you go at least one or possibly two sizes up from your original size so like let's say um for example like somebody's a small you would have to go up to maybe a medium possibly a large and stuff like that and then who knows if they have like <laughs> once in your size and then it sucks but then at the same time like her outfit it makes me kind of want to go thrift shopping and I haven't gone sh thrift shopping in like years <laughs> because you could honestly find really good outfits in thrift shopping mm And besides, I think she already, she's got this because, I mean, we don't know when she's going to become an idol. Uh, we don't know about that other girl who's, you know, at the airport and when she's going to pop up, but she's going to have to at least pop up soon. So it has to be sometime like after she already officially makes her idol appearance. the sandwich hell I had pasta and my pasta was good like mm. like you remember and um it was either no it was it was in I cut to I cut to friends the tomato basil and cheese sandwich like till this day i want to try that so bad i had a mozzarella tomato basil and avocado uh 
panini at Starbucks last week or two weeks ago, and it was so good, especially when it's warmed up. Like, oh my god! Oh, like Sakura. Aww. It wouldn't surprise me if Sakura's being is her dressier. That or um, Eureka. Oh. Or like, um, oh my god. What was that one girl's name? Not Sora, but um Oh god, I can't remember her name. She I think it was Aurora or something. Oh my god, she was so pretty because she had like the curly hair and like a really oh my god, she was one of my other personal favorites, even though she only had like one song. No, 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 you're suited. I mean, you're technically a main character just as much as the other three, so of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, Shiori, you're gonna be the gothic type. Because that's the only one we haven't seen yet. Plus, you got this, Shiori. Oh, Mao is just like the biggest cheerleader right now. We rock climb it? Because, like, the funny thing is when you go on the place that I normally download these episodes, um, 
every comment you see, is this really a cut to you guys? Like, mm? Also, in this outfit, too, like, yes, I've, I've never said it in episode one, but freaking, the freaking director, like, oh my god, every outfit she has is a look, and I love it. Make me want to change my own fashion. <laughs> now the question is, are, okay, they are. See, look how pretty she is. She also gives me, like, Alice in Wonderland vibes. And as someone who is still obsessed with Alice in Wonderland. Hmm? Like, what are you going to do with the chainsaw? <laughs> go on, go. just look like a weird sports festival in a way like a, a idol sports festival oh it's about your dress pick your favorite but aren't they supposed to just be all white still Perfect. Hmm? And we out. <laughs> I'm trying to think of who the voice is. I gotta listen to it again.
Gotta feel like she's been climbing that wall for a hot minute. Okay, so where's the dressing? Oh, I had a tea party! Aww. It sounds so familiar. I just can't get it. It's not, I don't think it's me to keep VA, but it sounds like somebody very familiar to me, and I just can't figure out who it is. And it makes you wonder if it's from if, if it's somebody from the original series, either Gen One or Gen Two, or I cut two stars or friends. Damn, I'm gonna have to like not rewatch this episode, but go back and look for a second. Now is she just using Wonderly until? I just, oh god, I need to know. I got no clue. I got no clue for both of them. Oh, and I know voices, but like with these two, it's hard to figure out what the voice is. Oh, that's so cute! Yeah, she's very similar to Sakura, Yurika, the girl who I think her name is Aurora from uh, Dream Academy and Aikatsu Gen 2 or Season 2. Heck, it would be funny if it's Sakuya and Kaguya, but I don't think it's them.
feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Oh my god. <laughs> Hell, it could be Alice who's addressing her. I don't know. This is hard. <laughs> Our, um, what's her, what was what's her face's, uh, friend? Yuzu's friend. And I cut two stars. It could be her. I don't know. Because it, it's on the tip of my tongue. And I'm like, oh. I just, I know who it is, but it's just like, I can't figure it out. Hell, it could be Alicia too. I don't know. It's someone. <laughs> It's two people. Alec could be one of my best girls. Okay, honestly, now she might have to be my best girl because she does give me the whole um, gothic aesthetic. Like, the idols that I typically like in this series or heck in any idol series usually is the cool type idol, which could be someone who is like Aoi or Samire. Samire could be that voice as well for her, Jessia. Um,. I'm trying to think. Eureka, um, uh, Mizuki, I would say, yeah, Otome, because Otome, because Otome is one of those close to my heart, because her VA, um, and a couple of others that I can't really think of off the back. Suba, Subasa, um, Yozura, Mahiru, um, kind of Laura uh, Mio yeah Mio because I liked her a lot Sakuya and Kaguya um, Yuzu's friend Alicia and Hibiki uh, Elsa and I think that's it because <laughs> I think I already said best girl music key but I am happy for Shiori. Like, honestly, she looks really pretty. And her aesthetic is just gorgeous. Now, okay, so I saw this preview uh, Saturday night on Twitter and possibly exposing to the fact that she's probably going to have to tell the person who found the Hannah card um, essentially that she's Hannah. It wouldn't surprise me if it comes to it because I feel like, because I think that would be her brother or that would be one of Hannah's fans, possibly. Um, 
that is gonna find it because eventually she's gonna have to tell everyone that she is the new hannah and or she's gonna be like yeah i'm hannah and the girl boy is gonna be like oh my god you were hannah the whole entire time like what happened but eventually she's going to have to tell her truth and say this is what happened and yada yada this is that and the third i mean still she's a gorgeous character who gets to play like our essentially main character you know our ichigo our karijan our yume um our aine <laughs> our wakaba rocky <laughs> but i mean yeah she's adorable and i think honestly when she tells the first person they might be a little concerned maybe just like the rest of hana's fans um it might be a point because i think when i tweeted it also as well i think i had said something to the lines of i feel like this is going to determine or like put a drift in the fans like who's really truly a fan of hannah and who's eventually just gonna be like i'm gonna leave i'm gonna head out and stuff who knows i mean because like whatever is gonna happen and eventually when she tells her fans it could end up bad or it could end up good who knows all right so th let me listen one more time to these dressias and such and then i'm going to like make my final final guess because i don't know <laughs> Because if it's not, <sighs> yeah, I can't tell with Wonderland tell who that is. Okay, so Ivy Sleeping sounds very kind of, I think her name was Maria, the Aurora girl who I was talking about. I'm not 100% sure. She sounds very similar to her. Now, for um, Wonderland Tale, I got no clue who the heck that could be. That could literally be who, whoever, <laughs> whoever that is, is because cause it's so funny. Um... I think it's what last week when uh beat came in and did her performance and you heard the um the hip-hop one and you could immediately tell that was rocky wakaba's voice and such with some of these characters and what some of these female say use when you hear them in like other shows like heaven god forbid let's use freaking ichigo's va when you hear her in Aikatsu and you hear her in The Promised Neverland, if any of you have not watched The Promised Neverland or any other shows um, she has been in ever since she graduated, technically I think she graduated Aikatsu after, technically in a way I don't even think she's graduated because of the fact is she's been in every freaking series up until now. I think officially once this show aired, essentially Ichigo's VA, um, graduated but they were like oh hey no i still want you to come back because i think when she did subasa um for stars like she was essentially still singing because you know how they get they'll have like an old um one of the older idols like do the voice and then they'll possibly have someone else do the singing relatively the new girls that have auditioned and such but yeah you you know instinctly like her voice but when it comes to like okay like another one otome otome is voice actor because i have watched so many shows very big iconic roles that she has played her most recent role is barely in laid back camp and before that that was akudama drive where she played the main um protagonist of that show you can hear her like her love you voice when she's an Aikatsu versus like her regular talking voice when she's not doing the cutesy aesthetic thing. So it is it is a little harder when they have them just talk in like a regular, not melatonin voice, but like something that's very mature sounding. Because I think, um, oh god, what was her name? Alicia? Yeah. Alicia's VA. Oh my god. Like, oh god. Can we talk about her VA and the things that she's been in? And she's been in a lot of iconic things. And the person who created Akudama Drive way, way before Akudama Drive, uh, Alicia's VA was in there in, in that series that he created before, which was a game and everything. And then eventually it got into an anime. She played the most iconic character on that series. She played literally everyone's number one Wafu 
in that series and then now she's in like a whole bunch of other series where yes she usually is the number one wafu heck the my one of my favorite shows with her freaking little witch academia she plays best girl diana so i'm like oh my god like yes but um i'm wondering if she's possibly gonna come in i, I don't know i really have no freaking clue who wonderland tale is so if it if her name is marnie or Ia or Aurora for Ivy. That's who I think it is. It has to be the girl who did the freaking one song where she had, oh my god, I have to describe the wings. Her wings were like um, cotton, very fluffy and everything and it had like swirls and flowers on it because that was her aesthetic. And I think, like I said, I think her name was Maria. She was friends with Sora in Dream Academy and uh, Seta and then that one girl. I never remember her name because she, to me, she didn't get a lot of focus. So, of course, I never remembered her name. But, yeah, I think, you know, whatever's going to happen next week, I hope it's good for Mal slash Hannah, but we'll have to wait and see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of Ikatsu Planet. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next time for episode 10. Bye, guys.